So Mozilla just announced that it supports the latest Facebook 1 billion parameter Llama model to run locally, and it's pretty good and pretty fast. So I just wanted to show you how to use it and get it on your own computer. If we follow that link here, this is the model card for it, and it's got some instructions for how to get it. It's got this code to run here, so I'm just going to copy that. And if I just open up a terminal, you go to wherever your file downloaded. So I've got my file in this llama file directory. So I'm just going to drag that in. So CD space and then drag in your directory, hit enter. And now you're in the directory where that llama file is. To run those commands and to download, we'll see you in a minute. Uh, by the way, while this is downloading, they just assume that you do everything on the command line, but they also on Hugging Face have the files themselves and you can just download them by pushing the download button at there. It's to get this model here, though. I think they use the Q6. Um, so this is just different levels of quantization and you can learn more about quantization on Hugging Face. Okay, so mine installed without any problems and just type in here, tell me a story about llamas. And I could exit out of that. And if I wanted to run this again, you know, obviously I'm not going to run all of this code here. I just need to run this last line there. Maybe just a few other things to mention. Um, for these llama files, they have this chmod plus x llama file, blah, blah, blah. That's to get it to be executable. The other way that you can do that, and it's different on a PC, but on a Mac, it's command I or right click and choose show info, you can change those permissions here. So it probably downloads as read only and you just change it to read and write. Um, and then that's the same as running that command. And you could change it for all the users on your machine or just you, whatever. And then last thing is that you can run these with, with the dash dash CLI parameter and then pass it whatever kind of parameters this model will accept. And I, I don't know what those are per se, but a lot of the models are the same. So for example, this command here would run the llama file. I'm passing the dash dash CLI. I'm passing a dash dash temp for the temperature of the model, which is its level of creativity. And I could change that, like I could make it less creative. And then the dash P is the prompt. Write a story about llamas. Maybe I add Keep it brief. There you go. If you have any trouble, leave your questions in the comments. Otherwise, have fun running your own private, local, chat GPT alternative large language model.